Man, I'm super excited. The day has finally come. I'm standing outside of the sales gallery of the Island at West Bay Club right here in Estero, Florida, a very short four and a half minute drive from my house. Now, if you're interested in something like this, you want to stay tuned. I'm Barry C. Dickerson, Luxury Real Estate Advisor with the Delatory Real Estate Company. We're located a very short drive from here in Bonita Springs, Florida. Check us out. We're here today to receive an exclusive VIP tour of not only the community of West Bay, but also the new 86 residence high-rise condominium that's starting construction this summer of 24. If you recall, last week I attended the open house here, had a great time, met some great individuals. Today, Leah Page will give us the exclusive VIP tour. I'm super excited. If you haven't done so already, hit the like, hit the subscribe button, help grow the channel. All right, family, let's go inside and take a look at this new development. All right, all right. Hello, hello, Leah. We'll put that right there. Here she is. Hi, hi, Barry. Good How morning. Doing? How are you? I'm good. Everyone, this is Leah Page, one of the sales consultants. Wait a minute, you're the lead, aren't you here? Aren't you uh, no, nobody's a leader Nobody? here. Okay. We're all leaders, actually. All but leaders. I'm one of the sales executives here at the island. And she's going to give us a VIP tour. She's going to tell us all about it. We're going to take a macro to micro look at everything that has to do with this great new project. So I'm excited. We're in your hands. Well, first of all, Barry, I really appreciate you coming in today to learn more about the island. Of course. Um, this is actually our brand new luxury high-rise condominium development uh, and our last development currently being constructed in the West Bay Club. Okay. So I'm going to take you over to our ahead. amazing new site plan to show you a little bit what all right. we're about. I'm going to get right over here. Okay. So... The island features 24 floors, 86 residences, ranging in square footage from over 3,200 square feet to just over 6,000 square feet in our penthouse areas. Right. The really unique thing about our building is the fact that we have only four stacks to our tower, which means that every single residence in our building has a wraparound terrace with sweeping and unobstructed views of the uh, Sterile Bay and the Gulf of Mexico. Everybody gets a view. Like Everybody gets a view, which is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a moment before we do a deep dive into what the tower is all about. I wanted to give you an overview about what West Bay Club is about. Okay, yeah. Can we do that? Sure, yeah. Okay. So the island is actually, um, the architect for the island is Garcia Stromberg, which is located on uh, in Palm Beach County. Yeah. And the developer of our project is Culture Urban. Right. Culture Urban has over 25 years experience doing nothing but building luxury high-rise development projects in primarily waterfront or urban areas. Mm -hmm. As you can see, here are some of our current developments. We have Celine under development in Fort Lauderdale, the Dillon in Atlanta, Art House in St. Pete, and then one Tampa also in Tampa. So we have a very experienced builder here. Very experienced builder, that's very good. Their primary focus is luxury high-rise development. Mm -hmm. And so you want peace of mind and you want somebody who has the strength yeah. um, and also the depth in especially building high-rise developments, right. right? So where we're located, yeah. you know, we are located on the corridor between Fort Myers and Naples. Our closest airport, which is RSW International Airport, is about 15 minutes away. Short drive, yeah. Our local hospital is two and a half miles to the south of us. Our nearest grocery store is literally a mile outside our doors. We have a multi-generational shopping and dining area, which is Coconut Point Mall, which yeah. is literally a minute down the road. Minute, yeah. So everything that you want is located within steps of our community. I'm always bragging about Estero, my home, because it's a great location to be able to get to any and everything. So I like that. Yeah. Right. We have a sports complex, which includes pickleball. We have bocce. We have shuffleboard. We have an area for lawn games. We also have a dog park for a small dog and a large dog. Mm -hmm. We have five restaurant options in the West Bay Club. The Bay House is our main clubhouse for all residents. It features a resort style pool. It also features the Aqua Cafe, which yeah. is either you can have breakfast. I've had lunches there, uh, grab and go, but it's a full service restaurant. And you can see just by the looks here, 
that it's a modern and current look. Yeah. We have an attended fitness center, so we offer a variety of classes, everything you can possibly imagine, including aqua sports. Our rackets program is one of the best in this area. Um, our sports courts feature eight hard true tennis courts. We also have a tennis pro shop and a number of matches, tournaments. In fact, there was one earlier this mm -hmm. week, stadium seating, but it's really well known throughout this area for that avid tennis player. So we also have a championship golf course, PD Dive golf course. We hold tournaments there. It's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. We have our main clubhouse, which has two different dining options here. We have a grand club room. We've hosted weddings there. We have dinner service there. We also have a speakeasy lounge. It's called the Signature wow. Bar. This is very popular among our residents. Live music, you also have a meal service here. Our crowning jewel amenity, which we just opened this week, is our beach club. So our beach club is located on Little Hickory Island. It's actually one of only two beach clubs that offer a full service restaurant in the area. Right. We had the foresight to tear down our old beach club and have it permitted before the storm, for, before Ian. And so we have this beautiful, brand new, gorgeous building mm -hmm. that offers valley parking, chair, umbrella, towel service. Um, and again, it's the, it's the newest building out there. So it's private to our residents and members only. Okay. So again, when we talk about amenities and sharing amenities, you're sharing amongst a community with fewer than 800 homes. Yeah. And what does that mean is that when you have this many amenities, you don't have to wait your turn to enjoy them. Everybody can enjoy them with their friends and family. Yeah. You're not on a wait list, reservation Correct. list, or something like that. You've got access to the amenities. So it's that's such, good. We're yeah. a boutique community, and right. we love it. Right. Okay. And so that actually brings us to the tower. As I mentioned, Coulter Urban, very well known for luxury high-rise development. We're excited to have them here. As you drive up through the main area, you have this oversized undercover porte cochere and that leads you into a 24-7 staffed lobby area. So our staff will be able to receive your guests, packages in our temperature control package room, um, but it's going to be a very concierge level experience right. for our homeowners. Yeah. So again, moving into our arrival deck, we have this beautiful resort style pool, which features a sun deck. There's a lap lane. So if somebody wanted to do laps, they certainly could do that. We have cabanas, multi-gathering um, lounging spaces, not just lounge chairs, but some people don't want to lay out in the sun. Right. Um, we also have a barbecue grill area, our exercise lawn. If you wanted to do yoga on the lawn, there's a great experience there. We also have two guest suites. Right. Um, and we, yeah. yeah, we also have two business centers. What's really great about that is, you know, obviously Southwest Florida is largely a second home market for many people. Sometimes you conduct business at home, but you don't want to be in your own personal space. Right. Right. We have those dedicated areas within our lobby area that you can go conduct business and it's a professional environment. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, our crowning jewel, and you can't see it unless you are a basketball player, but it's actually here. I can almost see it. <laughs> <laughs> I can almost see it, but go, go around, Marianne. Go. Our crowning jewel here that. is going to be our rooftop pool area. We're going to feature a pool, a spa area, fire pits, a lot of lounging spaces, a wine bar. We're also going to have cabanas up there. Yeah. But you're going to be enjoying what we're known for here in Southwest Florida are these amazing sunsets in the Gulf of Mexico. Also, the thing to note is that we have 10 foot floored ceiling windows. So one of the things that we capture here in every single one of our stacks, especially with our clear glass railing, is that we have sweeping and unobstructed views. Again, we talked about that earlier. Right. It's really something that's special within our building. And the way our tower is laid out, so this mm -hmm. orientation, is facing the water. Okay. But our two rear rear stacks have not only water view, western sunset views, yeah. these gigantic southern views, and then you've got the community view. So they have three exposures. Right. So there really is not a bad view in our building. Right. And I like the, um, well, the as you go further up, I, I noticed that you've got so much terrace space here and it's mostly on the on the lower level, but even as you go up, 
what's the size of the terraces? About 487? Something right. Like that. So our terrace areas um, range anywhere from just under 500 square feet to just under 2,000 square feet in our lower areas. Yeah. And so you see how the building is oriented. The front two stacks have um, screens up to the sixth floor, and then on our rear two stacks have screens up to our seventh floor, um, which is our transition floors for the building. So if someone wanted to be on the lower level, hey, you get the, uh, the most amount of terrace space. As you go further up, less, but great views, yeah. Why don't we take a trip over to our kitchen area? Again, we were very thoughtful in how we designed our galleries so that when people come in, they have a level of expectation of what is a standard finish. Um, being brand finishes, you're going to have a quartz countertop. You will have a full height backsplash. The fixtures that we feature here in our kitchen are growy, but they will be at this level or higher. Yeah. We have a Franke sink here. And then again, obviously, our Sub-Zero and Wolf appliance packages. We feature in all of our kitchens there. a 30-inch refrigerator and a 30-inch freezer. And here, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Poke and pole, the cabinetry, very European, but very well known for organizational features. Right. So we love that right behind you. I think every all the fellows really like this, which is your dual trash with a compost. It's just a really nice feature, especially, you know, when storage is at a premium for homes. Yeah. The one feature I love about this kitchen is our pull out organization here. I mean, you really get a lot of storage, right? And so this may be the typical, but is there any option as far as just a slight variation, color scheme or anything like that? 100%, yes. Yeah. So we work with a renowned design firm, and what they do is they put together a curated package of finishes and colors for our buyers to choose from. Right. So that if you have a particular style, you're not married to this style, we do mm -hmm. have offerings. Our goal is to deliver something that's beautiful, aesthetically pleasing, and very consistent. What we don't want is we don't want to have 86 custom homes because what that what that does is it mm -hmm. extends out your build out time. Right. We want to be able to get in, deliver this gorgeous home that reflects this price point, right. and then what you what a customer would do is they would either work with a designer to either customize the home through light fixtures window treatments, ceiling fans, and things like really that. Really accessorize what's already a quality product. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Okay. Um, I think people, most people absolutely love that. So some people um, may not be married to this color flooring. So mm -hmm. we will have options, and typically we do that. Um, we have great news. You're actually going to be okay. the first to know. Oh, well, I'm hey, just break, letting you. Breaking news. Breaking okay. news. We actually received our condominium docs. Okay. Um, we Ooh. got the news yesterday, okay. so we are in the process of converting our reservation holders. So what that means is that obviously we're on target to break ground this summer. We're completing in 2026. Right. This is really important to note. We have three on this corridor. Remember, we talked about relevancy. Mm -hmm. On this corridor, there are three luxury high-rise developments currently being developed. Right. We're all going to be completed in 2026. Right. The equity position most people will experience buying early and then at the end of the build out is considerable, especially when you look at the growth mm -hmm. and what's going on in Southwest Florida, right? Yeah, exactly. So translation, it's better to get in now. <laughs> it's better yes. to get in now. Total number of penthouses, I know they haven't been released. Two. Only two. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Two. So our pricing starts at three million and it goes from there, but because we're in conversion right now, we are offering a developer incentive, so a 4% discount off of pricing. I like that. She said discount. It made me look okay. Discount off of pricing. We're also offering a, um, a, a $5,000 credit at closing. So if you wanted to purchase that chandelier or some other options, you certainly can do that. That will be provided to you at closing. We're paying the $5,000 capital contribution toward the master association. Right. And big one. The builder is waiving their builder escalation clause. You know, mm -hmm. why does that matter? During COVID, and we had all those supply chain issues, remember the price of goods and the price to build things really escalated considerably. Right. And what was what really started happening is builders were having this put these clauses in because 
they couldn't build the houses for what they quoted, and a lot of them got stuck paying that extra. Right. Um, so that's a standard. If you look at your clauses in a lot of builder contracts, we're waiving that waiving. Um, no for our early adopters. Yeah. Right. You're, it's a big deal. Yeah, you're going to be where you were at the beginning. Right. right. God forbid we have any issue like that again. But you know, we just want to make sure again that we're providing some value in our incentives so that when somebody's considering us, especially our early adopters coming in, we're going to reward that. Right. Um, re reward that with some incentive. I know we were over at the model, and, and I don't remember us touching on it. How many elevators are going to be? We have two elevators. Um, so each stack, and we can go back over here. Yeah, each elevator is every it, it person right, right to their to their right. residence, right? Every person will have um, elevator access directly to their private foyer area. Yeah. Um, they're going to get a fob. So not anybody can just come up to your there elevator. You First of all, your guests will be received by your lobby area, the staff at the lobby, to announce their arrival. Um, but this stack is actually sharing the elevator with this stack. So right. there's a front and back opening. Um, and then, you know, obviously, they're not going to be able to access yours because they mm -hmm. won't have the fob to access exactly. it. So. Yeah. Privacy and security as well, from the beginning, entry, all the way up through the entire right. uh, complex. Here's the yeah. community, but as you can see, the, the shaded gray area is your terrace area. The wraparound, yeah. It's amazing water view, but again, keep in mind, all of these are floor to ceiling windows. The amount of light in each single home is absolutely incredible, right? Yes. And it's a terrace area where it's not just a table or a set of chairs. You really have lounging spaces where you can have a little bit of everything. And this is our 500, you know, 487 square foot terrace. Right, yeah. So it's it's a pretty compelling floor plan. When yeah. somebody says, I want to see the view from my particular or this particular unit, yeah. I can show them what a Western exposure looks like. My favorite, it's the fourth. Everybody typically gravitates toward the front too because yeah. they're full on Western, Northern, or South. But this exposure offers West gigantic southern exposure and eastern exposure and the great terrace the wraparound right terrace, all over so you get yeah. all of the views that's your uh, let's see that's your eastern exposure so you know at night when you're looking at the at the um water in the gulf of mexico you don't see anything but here you can see the twinkling lights of yep. the community see, yeah. um this is actually the southern exposure so um you're going to be able to see Little Hickory Island and a little bit further south, some lake area. So right. you actually get some really great views with this particular unit. What else? What else do we need to know? Well, uh, if you want to schedule an appointment with us, mm -hmm. we're happy to do it. We can do it online. We can do it mm -hmm. virtually. Or we'd love to have you come into the community because one of the things that really showcases what we do and what we have is really having a community tour. So our membership director is um, Vanessa Rodriguez. She's been a great partner with us. She gives full tours. If they want to have an experience in terms of maybe experiencing one of the restaurants, we're happy to take you to lunch. Yeah. You know, there are, th there are things that we can do to help, you know, buyers really experience the flavor of this community before making that decision to buy. Yeah, and, and I'm going to take you up on that. The very, <laughs> the very next uh, update will be a tour of the community. And we can hit lunch and tour the community and oh, show yes. everyone what it's like. Oh, yeah. yeah. It'll be amazing. So uh, It also reminds me of during the open house, I met the one couple. I don't want to give their names. met the one couple uh, who shared with me. They're oh. one of the first six. You oh, know my, exactly, my customer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. It was a great story about how they're committed already, and they've got the forward vision of what this is going to be and what they're going to experience. So it's very, very good. This, well, actually, you know, it's a great, it's great that you're bringing them up in particular because they live in a residential community right now that right. is amenitized. A lot of people in this community yes. and they are single family. They can't enjoy their amenities. It's, a, it's very loud um, mm -hmm. and they don't live like that. They're right. more conservative. They love the idea that they have a sense of autonomy here in the tower, mm -hmm. but that it's a small community where you can go out and be as social as you want. Exactly. So. Okay, everyone, um, I know that you're probably wow, just like I am. I want to thank Leah for a great tour. She gave us so much information, a deep dive, if you will, into everything that's going to be happening here at the Island at West Bay Club. I'm super excited. More updates are coming. 
more updates are coming, especially this free lunch that she. <laughs> yes. Yes. I highly recommend it. So. Any definitely. any closing thoughts? Anything else you want to leave us with? I would say you know definitely again you're you're the first realtor I've told we are we are converting we got the condominium docs we got the notice yesterday so bring your buyers. Yes. Um and we would just love to absolutely share this experience. Um, you know I think we have a very very unique community here. If somebody is looking for a little bit of exclusivity, a boutique community, right. the island at West Bay has it all. And with so many amenities, and right here you're in, in Estero, you don't have to go very far. No. You don't have to go very far. Not at all. Leah, I appreciate it very thank much. Thank you so much for thank your time. You. And thank you for your service, by the way. Thank you as well. <laughs> Army. We're both Army. We're both veterans. So veterans. <laughs> as we close out this particular tour, this special exclusive VIP tour, Leah Page, uh, here with the island at the West Bay Club did an awesome job. I thank her. Also, I didn't mention the fact that she's got a great team, Chloe and Amanda Super. Okay. Now, if you haven't done so already, I don't know why not, but click the like button. I don't know what there was that was pre presented here today that you wouldn't like. Okay. So go ahead and hit the like button, but also the subscribe button as well. I was looking at the video the other day, over 10,000 views. And of course, you know that I'm only at about 680, 650 uh, subscribers. So hit the subscribe button as well. It's totally free, nothing will happen. It just sends a message to YouTube that the content that I'm bringing is of value and more people should see it, okay? Um, it's still pretty early. Today's Friday, of course it's date night, gotta get ready for that later on. However, I want you guys to have a great and wonderful day, but until next time, always, take real estate.